Alright guys, in this video I'm going to explain for loops. A for loop is a loop that will execute a block of code a specified amount of times. To create a for loop, we type for parentheses curly braces. Within the for loop, there are up to three statements that we can add. The first is that we can create an index, a sort of counter. Int index. I'll set this equal to be... We'll start at one. Then finish the statement with a semicolon. Now what a lot of people do, instead of saying index, they'll just shorten this to i. The second statement is a stopping condition. Let's count up to three. I'll continue this as long as i is less than or equal to three. Then semicolon to finish that statement. The third statement is that we can increment or decrement our counter, our index. I'll increment my index by one by saying i plus plus. Okay, let's repeat something three times. Standard. Output, how about Happy New Year? Happy New Year. This code should be repeated three times. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. I should probably add a new line. Now let's try this five times. We'll begin I at one. We'll continue this as long as I is less than or equal to five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. This time, let's count up to 10, then display Happy New Year once we exit out of the for loop. I'll move this line to outside of the for loop. I'll set i to be one. We'll continue this as long as i is less than or equal to 10. During each iteration of the for loop, I will display whatever i is. Standard output i, then I'll add a new line. Okay, here we go. We're starting at one, then we're counting up to 10, then we escape the for loop. Once we escape the for loop, then we print Happy New Year. When you increment or decrement your counter, you can skip iterations. Let's increase i by two after each iteration. i plus equals two. Now we're counting up by twos. One, three, five, seven, nine. Happy New Year. We can even set our index to be a different number. Let's begin at zero. We're still counting up by twos. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Happy New Year. We could even increment i by three. Zero, three, six, nine. Happy New Year. Or we could decrement and go backwards. i minus minus. This time we will begin at ten, then continue as long as i is less than or equal to zero. So this would be a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Happy New Year. Okay, let's decrement i by 2 after each iteration. i minus equals 2. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Happy New Year. So yeah, everybody, that's a for loop. There's a lot of overlap where you could use either a while loop or a for loop. For loops tend to be better in situations where you only need to repeat code a certain amount of times. Your assignment is to post a use of the for loop in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are for loops in C++.